Okay, so I've ripped the songs off of the CD onto the hard drive. I verified that at least one of the songs is working, and I'll assume the rest of them are okay. So now it's time to actually encode our music. At this point, you have a decision to make. You have to choose the format you want your music to be encoded with. There are many options. Every, you know, Windows has its own format. Apple has a format. The most widely used encoding method is it's still MP3. I'm not going to go into a lot of depth on this topic, just for the sake of time. But if you are watching this video, um, you are most likely you're using an open source operating system, such as one of the Linux distributions or possibly FreeBSD. Since you're interested in open source, you should know that the MP3 codec is not open source. Not only is it not open source, but you are technically required to pay a royalty fee to encode your music in MP3 format. I haven't paid that royalty fee, so therefore I'm not going to encode my music in MP3 format during this video. I would encourage you, regardless if you happen to own the rights to MP3 encoding or not, I would still encourage you to use one of the open source royalty free encoders such as Ogvorbis or FLAC. FLAC stands for Free Lossless Audio Codec. In this video, I'm going to use Ogvorbis. If you're going to encode your music in MP3, you know, you'll probably know you probably already know about Lame. That's L A M E, um, and it's very similar to the way the Aug encoder works. So, even if you plan on using Lame, this information is still relevant in my opinion. And uh, even if you do want to use Lame, it wouldn't hurt to follow along. Go ahead and download what you need to use Aug, and just follow along anyway. And you can learn a little bit about the Aug Vorbis format and maybe even choose to use it from here on out. So if you want to follow along, you will need to install the Vorbis Tools package. Again, most modern Linux distributions that specifically target home users will probably have this package installed by default. But if you don't have it, you'll need to install it now. It will probably have a couple of library dependencies, and you'll need to install those as well. If you want to learn more about Aug Vorbis, you can visit www.vorbis.com. That's spelled V-O-R-B-I-S. Uh, if you have any problems finding the website, just go to Google and type Vorbis, and it'll take you right there. If you need to install Vorbis tools, pause this video now and do so. Okay, it is assumed that you have the Aug Vorbis encoder installed now. First, I will demonstrate the most basic encoding using pure defaults. To do that, I simply type Aug ENC space track 05, and then I'll use command completion again by pressing tab, and then dash O, that's a small O, and then I'll type track 05. OGG. That's the most basic command line switches I can use to actually encode the file. So I'll hit enter to have that happen. You can see here it goes pretty quickly. You can see the percentage down there in the lower left flying right by. And next to that on the right it says there there's about 20 seconds remaining. I'll pause this just to uh, let that finish up. Okay, that command takes the track 05.cdda dot wav file encodes it with the aug vorbis codec and then outputs that encoded data to a new file called track 05.ogg now if i want to test that encoded song at this point i can do that by typing ogg123 space track 05.ogg and then hit enter and as you can see there it's outputting information onto the screen and you can hear the music playing in the background so we know that it worked and it sounds pretty much every bit as good as the original WAV file the default option encodes the data at 128k BPS but suppose I want more quality than that after reading the man page for AUG Inc I learned that I can specify the dash Q switch with a value between negative 1 and 10 to change the quality. It says that 3 is the default, so I'll try 6. So I type aug inc space hyphen q space 6 space track 05 
.cdda.wav space dash o track 05 aug and in case you're wondering this will overwrite the previous track that I encoded but that's okay because this is just a demonstration so I'll hit enter and now you can see again that it's encoding and I'll pause the video until this finishes